Okay, everybody, and today, welcome to my final, finally, blocked tip video. It took a while to come out, but it's finally here. These blurred tips aren't necessarily in chronological order, which means the first tip I present not, not necessarily is the best, and the last one is not necessarily the worst. And yeah, that's the way I'm going to do this. So let's hop straight into the tips. Okay, so here we are with tip one. Now, basically, this is layout. Now, when the new asset library feature comes in in blocks 1.3, I'm gonna. This is how I, t how I like to lay out my um, asset pack. I like to have. Uh, app called uh, Twi Tweet Deck in the top right, and I like to uh, arrange that so I can look at my Twitter feed. Currently, I've got the Blocks Twitter account set up, but you can put yours in. And then I've got the asset library in the bottom right where I can quickly drag and drop the assets into blocks very, very simply and very, very easily. And let's get on to tip two. Okay, so tip two now, this is the ability to set a master setting for all of the h all of the like h1 settings h heading 2 settings heading 3 settings paragraph buttons and all of that uh, also with the new hover feature this enables it to be so here he goes i'm demonstrating here you click your subject you want you can do with buttons or anything and it'll change all the ones of the document it's a great way to create master templates master things for your products and yeah it's just a great idea it's been here from the start a lot of you should know this but for those that don't there it is and I'm moving on to tip three Okay, so tip three. Now this is this is surprising because you can actually make blocks full screen. Some of you probably know this, but some of you probably don't. In the top left hand corner, you have the green icon button, which usually does make applications full screen. But for blocks, it actually uh, shrinks it and makes it like nearly full screen. But there's actually an option here uh, to go full screen and get back out of full screen quite easily on view. I think it's on view, and they change it off to full screen here. You know, window exit full screen, and it will just shrink back down. That's just really good for workflow and keeps you not distracted. And let's move on to tip four. Okay, tip four. Now this is to go and download the blocks cheat sheet, cheat sheet, which tells you all the shortcuts for blocks. Uh, you can go, quickly go on to it's a Sketch resource, but like you go into Sketch, you can find it. It's quite it's cost, but you can get it for free, and uh, or get the demo trial and just export it to JPEG. Oh, I'll put the link to the J. No, actually, I can't do that, so it's illegal. But yeah, basically, just they uh, teaches you uh, the ways of blocks and teaches you the not uh, shortcuts. Um, if you didn't know them already, they're really useful. I use it a lot. Let's go on to tip five. Okay, tip five. Now this is to sign up to the Blocks for support forum. Well, not necessarily support, but there's a tutorial video request, which is actually a tab put in by me for the de from the developer. And you get future requests where you can uh, do future requests, and you can also ask for, ask for help as people are very very helpful on there. Uh, see, I provide answers usually quite quickly as well, along with the developer uh, me and Norm, and others as well who uh, feel they want to use their contribution. And yeah, it's just a really nice place, really friendly place as well. Really, uh, there you go. Let's just scroll through now. Look at that. They, uh, you can see people respond usually quite quickly, usually within a day, which is good if you have any burning questions about blocks. Now let's go on to the final tip. Okay, so the final tip in blocks is that you can actually use emojis in your paragraphs. And I'm not sure what this turns out like when you look at it on other browsers from Windows. This is kind of a bit of a gimmicky tip, but I'm sure I thought I'd teach you guys anyway. So you're gonna uh, edit and then you're on special dictator dic I don't know, I can't read that from here. And um, then you have the option like a typical iOS um, emoji selection menu, and you can click, click on them, and then it gets put into your paragraph, and you can copy paste them. You can do all of that. It, it works in the browser when you export and look at it in Safari on your Mac, but when you look at it on, say, I think it would work on iOS browsers as well on Safari on there. But when you go and look at it on a Windows computer, I'm not sure what it's going to look like. So see, I copy and paste a fish here to demonstrate that it works, and I'm going to export the project. And it it looks quite it looks quite funny in the browser. And you can set loads uh, with Apple as well. Working on new emojis it should be pretty fun. Hopefully soon they'll bring out a global emoji thing. So this actually becomes useful and you can use it on all the browsers. And yeah, it just looks pretty cool. That's my final tip. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Blocks Tutorials. Bye bye.